Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Life at SAP and today in this session I am going to cover about the dispute management. So basically this uh, dispute management is uh, one of the sub module of uh, FSCM financial supply chain management and uh, this dispute management is a process of managing the dispute areas in the accounts receivable including like uh, identifying the identifying mitigating and resolving any issues or discrepancies that may occur in the billing or receivable process okay so and uh, the term definition the term definition of this dispute management is a disputed uh, transaction is a debit or credit transaction that uh, that uh, that the cardholder is claiming in some way they may claim the purchase was frauded or they didn't receive what they they paid for or the amount was incorrect in this situation we will be creating the uh, dispute case so here now i will explain you how to create the dispute uh, uh, case in sap system and uh, what are the ways of uh, to create the dispute cases in the sap system and uh, and uh, automatic write off how to uh, system will generate the automatic write off entry the all the all the periodic processing uh, from the uh, dispute management side i will show you today okay so i will quickly show you my abl 5n report for one vendor abl 5n so i have uh, chosen this vendor so my company code is 2000 now i am executing this one abl 5n report so here you can see i have uh, seven eight total eight line items which are open items so uh we, i can choose uh, so here uh, we have uh, I, we have we can see here uh, we have an option to create the dispute case here in this screen or in this screen so we just need to select the line item which uh, for which line item we want to create the dispute for example I want to create a dispute case for this uh, 8000 ending with 19 so I need to select here we need to select this line item here and just click on the create dispute case okay and now here we have to mention the comment title what is the issue with this line item so i'm mentioning as a damaged product and the reason we need to mention so i'm selecting the reason also as a damaged goods and priority as per the priority we can choose low medium high and very high i'm choosing as a very high and here we have the category also so we can see a category like uh, icons, visible and credit and sales, and then identified operations, anything we can, uh, whatever the this transaction is relating to, that one we have to select here. I'm going with the AR and credit. And the processor, the processor means uh, the person who is creating the dispute case in SAP. Mostly the end user will be creating the dispute case. So whatever that uh, guy user ID this needs to mention here, SAP user ID so my SAP user ID is uh, this one so I'm mentioning this one and process uh, person responsible person responsible means from customer side who is the person responsible here we need to give X person and then uh, just a second it's loading Yeah, X person and the process de deadline. So, by when we can close this uh, this dispute case? So I'm mentioning in my case I'm mentioning as a 31 2023 and the same closing date also same I'm mentioning this one. So whenever I select the entry from here, system will fetch these details, these basic details like uh, um, the customer number and document number document number as external difference number see i have selected this one one eight all zeros 19 
the document number is that one so system will automatically fetch the details like document number and company code and customer and this line item with this line item all the line item details like amount posting date document date document number and reference tag everything so then uh, we need to mention the basic details here and the contact person if we have already contacted uh, any customer we need to maintain the details here to whom we have contacted what is the latest contact what is the latest update on here so then we need to click on save here so uh, it's not saying here so i will remove this one just click on save so dispute case has been created you can see here dispute case has been created so you want to cross check uh, how uh, whether we have a created dispute case or not for this document you just click on double click on this document then system will show you a dispute case uh, it's, it's showing means a dispute case for this document it's already dispute case has been created you can see here the dispute case number the dispute case id and the agent number all those uh, details here and we can uh, display also with the help of this uh, here we have display button okay now i will tell you the other way how can uh, how to create the uh, dispute case so and for example i am copying this number here the document number i am opening another new transaction code here i am going to display the document transaction code if that is ap03 so here i am selecting the document just a second 20 okay and here uh, if you go to general ledger view and click on double click on here and here we can see the create dispute case this is the second way to create the dispute case so again I am uh, creating for the other line item which is uh, 20,000 damage goods so I am selecting the reason and category and person responsible and process deadline and closing date and I am clicking as save okay dispute case has been created now it's changed as a to dispute case earlier uh, we have create dispute case now for this document we have created then system is showing as a dispute case this is the second way and there is one more way we have to create the dispute case i will show you uh, so here in accounting uh, financial supply chain management here we can see the dispute management and here uh, we need to go to periodic, periodic processing in accounting so here automatic creation of dispute case the transaction code is fdm underscore auto underscore create so i'm choosing this one uh, so i'm selecting the open items for my open items i want to create the uh, dispute case so i'm giving the document company code here my document will be dr and 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 and, 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 and I'm, I'm giving the document number here just a second in further selection i will go and i will mention the document number so as of now i have created dispute cases for these two line items 19 and 20 now i will create the dispute case for 21 and 22 let's see whether the dispute case is created or not for this for 21 it's not created and for 22 it's not created so what i will do i will copy these two document numbers here and I'm going here and I'm selecting these two documents here it's not working it's not using it's not using it's not a correct way just a second okay one moment 18 6 times zeros 18 6 times zeros and this is um, for the selection I have selected the document uh, numbers and then in output control 
uh, I'm executing this program in test run first. So whether the system is selecting the system should select two document members as per my selection parameters. The system has selected two line items in test run mode dispute case created for item document item 2000 complete code 2000 and document number this physical year and 001 line item so i'm going back and in the output control i'm removing the test run and i'm executing it so system is saying uh dispute case created for item 2000 18, 16, 0, 21, and 22. Let's check here. I'm going to, I'm going, I, I came back to my standard report ABL 5N and I'm here refreshing this one. And now for 21 and 22, system should create the uh, dispute case. I'm double in here. See, system is showing as a dispute case. If it is not created, it will show as a create dispute case now uh, we have one more transaction code where the user can see all the dispute cases yeah. uh, let me go one step back here so here we need to come uh, accounting uh, financial supply chain management under financial supply chain management we have a dispute management under dispute management we can see the dispute case processing uh, as a end user uh, uh, he, he will execute once created his, he created the dispute case he will he needs to come here and he need to check the status here so in this screen whatever the dispute cases he has been created he can see all the dispute case dispute documents here so under cases you need to click on my dispute cases so here he can see the all the dispute cases which has been created by him so so here we can see so we have created for uh, 19 and 20 okay this is not a refresh okay so for 19 and 20 the system is showing the dispute uh, doc so uh, if any point of time we, we can update the status here by selecting the this row uh, for whatever the dispute uh, case we want to update just we just need to select that row and click on uh, change field content here and here a system will give the uh, three options whether we can uh, change the escalation reason on processor we want to change or the status as of now i'm selecting as a status so i'm uh, selecting the status as a uh, currently is showing as a open slash new so I'm sh uh, showing as a being processed and I'm saving it so the status has been changed now you can see the status is updated in process so uh, once this line item is uh, for payment has been received then automatically this status will be uh, updated as closed so for that also I will show you so here I am taking this uh, document uh, yeah uh, for that uh, testing purpose I am selecting the document here uh, this document 1860020 and I forgot to tell you one thing uh, this is the case ID whatever the case as we have creating in the system the case ID will be generated with this number and uh, yeah so for this line item I will I will I will clear to this line item then we'll see whether the system will close whether the system will update the status automatically or not it should update the status as a close then we'll let's we check this one so
so now I'm going to make the payment for this document uh, 20 186020 this document for 20,000 and uh, so I'm opening another session and I have dash 28 incoming payment so I'm selecting the document date and uh, I'm selecting the host bank bank account number and amount as 20,000 and then I'm selecting my customer here just hit enter so here we have multiple line items uh, apart from this line I need to deselect all the remaining things see oh there is something okay okay yes okay so document has been posted the payment document has been posted so let's see first uh, in the standard report I will refresh it now the uh, system will uh, remove this line item see that 20 line item has been gone now we'll go to UDM underscore dispute case transaction see here still it's showing here when I whenever I when I click on the refresh uh, system will update the status of this document here this document you can see here uh, my document is 18 6 times 0 and 20 and the case ID is ending with 12 so I'm just uh, refreshing it so it has been updated the uh, status as a uh, closer see uh, this is the process of uh, a dispute cases whenever you have uh, created the one dispute cases for any uh, line item for the accounts in any customer it will also so show you in the collection management I will show you in the collection management as well so I'm going to accounting and here accounting financial supply chain management and here collection management uh, and the work list uh, I'm opening the work list. The transaction code is UDM underscore specialist. So for whatever the line item we have created a dispute cases, system will show you here. For this customer, I'm going to open the process open items. So here we have a disputed amount. See here, uh, we have created a dispute cases for uh, three items. One is a 50,000, 30,000 and 10,000. I will tell you the document numbers here. These are the document numbers 19, 21, and 22. The 18 document we have uh, make the payment for 20,000, so that's why it's uh, cleared from here. So that's why the system is not showing in, in our dispute management, uh, UDM underscore dispute uh, transaction is showing as a status as a closed, and that's why the uh, system is not uh, showing here. And in collection management, uh, uh, UDM underscore specialist transaction. Uh, system is showing the all the details here the, uh, whatever the line items we have created dispute cases for those line items system is showing the disputed uh, in the amount is showing in the disputed column okay uh, so today's in this uh, that's all in this today's session so if, please like my video and uh, do subscribe my channel thank you so much for your support thank you